bolted doors and windows barred. Guard dogs prowling in the yard won't protect you in your bed. Nothing will. From Pumpkinhead. That's right, it's Pumpkinhead, and I'm going to review all four movies right down from the first to Blood Wings to Ashes to Ashes to uh, Blood View. No, Pumpkinhead. When I was a kid, the cover of Pumpkinhead used to scare the hell out of me. But when I got older and I watched the movies all over again, I actually got to understand a Pumpkinhead storyline. I grew to like it. Pumpkinhead's underrated, you know, compared to like to Freddy, Jason, or what have you. Well, Pumpkinhead, he's actually a pretty good character, and the storyline is pretty original. Uh closest thing I could ever compare the Pumpkinhead storyline to would be The Crow, if you would. Uh, basically, Pumpkinhead is a demon which is summoned when innocent blood is shed, and to seek vengeance on those who wronged you. Uh, now, Pumpkinhead is, like I said, a demon there, and whoever summons them, basically, their soul is damned. So it's it's like the last resort kind of thing there or in the first movie this shopkeeper his son is accidentally killed by these young guy young teenagers going around on these uh, motorbikes and one of the bikes goes out of control and hits the kid and the boy ends up dying from his injuries while well, the father who is uh, grieving goes to this old witch in the woods and ends up summoning pumpkin head to get his vengeance on these teenagers because he doesn't want him getting away with accidentally killing his son, which he's in mourning, he's not sick and thinking properly. Eventually he comes to his senses and he tries to stop Pumpkinhead before it's too late and all the teenagers are dead. Uh Pumpkinhead the all the storylines I gotta say, like I said, they're similar to the Crow. It ha someone a loved one usually ends up dying or uh well, number two is slightly different in Blood Wings, but I'll explain to that when I get to it. But Pumpkinhead only has one weakness, and I won't tell you what that is. You'd have to watch the movie to figure that out. Uh, Pumpkinhead there, even though he has a weird name, he's actually pretty cool. He doesn't actually have a pumpkin head. He kind of reminds me of the aliens from Resurrection, the uh, hybrid, the one who kills the queen. Pumpkinhead. Well, it bears resemblance to Pumpkinhead, if you will. That's what I always thought when I seen it. That Pumpkinhead was actually part alien. Uh, when I was... Uh, uh, just because of the resemblance. It was a joke there that I had with a friend of mine. About how Pumpkinhead... Uh, I don't want to explain that joke. Um, like I said, it's a, it's a great movie. It's slightly underrated. It's a B movie. It's a slash or monster movie from the 80s. Uh, like I said, um, but I would love to see Pumpkinhead take on something like Jason Voorhees, the Creeper from, uh, the, uh, Jeepers Creepers, or even the Crow fighting him, just something, like, he, it's a movie there, that monster, that you want to see him face something else. Now, the Creeper, uh, the Creeper, Jeeper, ah, now I'm got that movie in my head, Pumpkinhead. It's basically a guy in a suit there for the movies, but it's great. I like how they did it. You know, it's old 80s style, but I still love it. It's like the Godzilla franchise. You know it's a guy in a rubber suit, but you still watch the movies. And, you know, it's it's a good movie. I like the old witch in the first one better than all the others. She's just hell of a lot creepier, and I love the house there. It's a great series. Um, Blood Wings is a little different from the rest of the stories. But I, I will explain that later on. Uh, this is just going to be the first review to Pumpkinhead. And I got to tell you, it's a 7 out of 10 star movie. It's underrated. But I don't hear too many people talking about when they say horror movie monsters. Like they say Freddy, Jason, or what have you. But like I said, Pumpkinhead, as far as I'm concerned, he's a contender. He's one of my favorite horror movie uh, creatures, or monster creatures. Whatever you call it. It's, he's, it's just a great series, and I'm going to review the other ones as soon as I can. Take care.